Hey guys, thank you for watching. So getting started, I'm going to take my Equate brand um, fish wipes just to get all of the wolves from sleeping. I woke up a little late, um, so I'm rushing a little bit. So I'm going to get that to get all the oils on my face and use the Formula 10.0.6 Deep Pore Cleansing. Um, it's kind of like, I feel like it's a toner, um, but it doesn't say it's toner. Um, but it feels and reacts and does my skin like a toner, so that's what I'm going to say it is. Um, and I'm just going to put that all over my face. Um, then I'm using my simple 24-hour nourishing moisturizer. And I put that all over my face. Um, and then I'm going to get straight into my brows using the NYX Brow Definer. I don't like it, the product itself. I'm going to use it, um, and you guys can see it's not really going to make much of a difference to my brows, where then I am going to switch to the NYX Brow Pomade um, and decide that that's better off for me. Um, once I'm finished here, you can see that it doesn't make too much of a difference, though it does, but I would like my color to be just a little bit darker. So here I am with the pomade, um, and I have my Anastasia um brow um, tool. So uh, here I am just using that to darken up my brows just a little bit. Um, I keep saying, um, sorry you guys. First time doing a voiceover. Um, but, but I am using that and I'm just going to darken up my brows a little bit. I really like this product. Um, it stays very for a very long time, and it doesn't actually just wipe off, which is what I'm kind of saying right here. If I remember correctly, I'm also rambling. But I'm just darkening up my brows, and I'm telling you guys a little bit about my room to disregard the mess that it's in. Um, I know you can see the suitcase. I just came back from that Jacksonville from visiting some friends, so I had my stuff still there. So I'm just wiping off that product from my hand, and now I am going to... Conceal with my LA Girl um, Pro Conceal in the color Toast. Um, and I'm looking for my brush that I just cannot seem to find. And I'm showing you guys my pimple. But that's just my, that's just a flat concealer brush. Um, at first, I'm going to try and take the toast straight from the bottle, but it's just smarter to put it on the back of your hand. And to use your brush to clean up around your brows. So that's what I'm going to be doing just to clean up around my brows. Um, kind of taper it in the center because I don't like that blocky, chunky brow look, you know, where it just stops. Um, some people do. I personally just don't. So I'm just cleaning up around my brows right here. I'm making sure they look nice and clean. Um, I let my, bro my brows grow out quite a bit. Um, I do like them to be thicker. Um, so, which is why I need I have a need, a necessity to clean it up. Now I'm just taking that concealer once again. I'm just going to spot conceal over my eyes to make them more even because they're kind of dark. Um, and actually, it's uh, going to act as a base to my eyeshadows. And then I'm going to spot conceal all around my face. You'll see me do the dark spots on my chin, not on my cheeks. Sorry. Well, you can't see because I'm like an idiot. I have the mirror right in front of you, showing you all the dirt that's on my desk, right there, my vanity. But I'm just going to go under my eyes, and I'm going to conceal around my nostrils with that color, though it is my skin color. I am not here for the brightening effect right now with this concealer because I am in such a rush. I am only going to be using um, powders um, as far as, you know, powder foundation um, for my skin, I'm not going to be using any liquid foundation because it's just, it's going to take too long. So now I'm going in with my Morphe 35O palette, and I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow shader brush, and I'm going to dip it into that rust color. And I'm going to put it in as a transitional shade um, just right above my crease so I can go ahead and, you know, warm my lid up. I do like a warmer lid whenever I do my makeup. So... I'm putting that in my transitional shade right there. And again, I'm using a flat shader brush or a flat top. I'm sorry, flat top shader brush. Um, and that is from Bestope, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I got it online on Amazon.com. It's for $11.99. I 
I believe. And now I'm taking a Real Techniques fluffy um, crease blending brush. Sorry. Sorry. Um, a fluffy blending brush, and I am blending the colors Puddin' and Truffled from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette. And I am putting that inside of my crease at the moment. So I'm just blending that out. I'm blending out pretty big as well. Um, but yeah, I'm putting that in my crease and I am blending it out. Then I'm going to go back with that flat top um, eyeshadow brush. And without any extra product, I'm just going to blend out the top and then add more color. Now with my finger, I'm going into the color Bon Bon from the same palette. And I'm wiping and tapping that all onto my lid just to get a good enough color payout. And I'm just tapping that onto my lid, tap, tap, tap. Um, then going back in without any extra product on that Real Techniques blending brush and putting um, and just blending out that color near the crease. Now I'm going into the colors Coconut Cream um, and Peach, I believe. Um, and I am putting that into my inner corner. And now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black, and I'm going to apply my mascara. Um, when I was pointing, I was just showing you guys that I actually have three mirrors that I'm using. Um, I like one, I kind of like to look down and get an angle from below to see how my eyelashes are looking, and I look forward to see how it's looking. And then, of course, I look in the big mirror to get a big picture of how my whole face is looking. So I'm just doing that. As you can see, even though I have sped up this video, I am moving a little bit faster because, again, I was running late as heck that day, woke up late, um, dropped my daughter off to school in the nick of time, but I was still late. Um, now, I went in with a fluffy blending brush from a BH Cosmetics um, brush set, and I'm going back in on the colors pudding and truffled and I am putting those on my lower lash line and then I'm going to take my same mascara and put it on my lower lash and coat my lower lashes. I'm actually not going to put on any false eyelashes today again because I'm just running so late and it took so much time. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on, um, touching up my upper lashes once again. You know, always can use a second coat. I'm just doing that. Um, next thing, I'm going to go in with my, I want to say my L'Oreal Infallible. Yes, my L'Oreal Infallible, I think in the color is Cocoa, um, with a dense powder, the, the, the powder face brush. I'm just going to tap that onto my skin, um, and I'm going to just swirl the color around on my neck um, and diffuse a little bit, but I'm definitely going to tap it on to get the most, the most color payoff. Um, because I'm not going to be using a liquid foundation, I want to make sure the color is even. Then I'm going in with a rounded concealer brush. I believe that's from BH Cosmetics, if I'm not mistaken, their Sculpt Palette. Um, and then I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup, and I'm going to use this to highlight. Because I didn't use a brightening concealer, um, this works the best for me. So as you can see, I'm tapping it on pretty heavy, even though the... My lighting, unfortunately, is washing it out because I have warm lights instead of cool lights in my room. I definitely need to change that out. Um, but, yeah, now I'm just using my Real Techniques powder brush to kind of blend that all out on my face. Now I'm going in with the Kardashian Beauty pressed powder in, I think it's dark brunette. Um, and I'm taking an e.l.f. dense flat brush, um, and I'm using that to bronze plus contour my face. I rarely ever do a separate bronze and contour, um, only when I want to be really dramatic. Um, I usually use the Ruby Kisses one. Um, Ruby Kisses is in color ebony, but I find this one for every day just works better. It's not as harsh. If I do want a very harsh contour, I'll use that, um, the Ruby Kisses, um, along with a smaller contour brush after I've done this step to go ahead and make my contour just a little bit more heavy. So now I'm going to do my edges. Again, I'm rushing, which is why they still look whack. Sorry, you guys. Now I'm going in with a BH, my Black Radiant, sorry, um, blush. I forget what color this is. Um, but it's just like a dusky, dark reddish color on my cheeks. Then I'm going to go in my Carly Bible palette, and I'm going to take her last two highlighter shades. I'm just going to 
you know, highlight my face, my the top of my cheekbones, my nose, um, the, the bridge of my nose, and over my cupid's bow. Then I'm taking Night Moth by Mag, the Pro Long Wear um, lip liner, and rubbing that all over my lips. And then after that, I'm going to go in with um, the Forever New by BH Cosmetic in the color Cinnamon Stick. And that is it. And that is how I do my face. I hope you guys enjoyed and. Don't forget to comment and to like and let me know how you feel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm running out of time, and I will talk to you guys later. I'll attach a picture or two at the end so you can see how I look for the day. Bye.